I'm Chris Bartlett. And I'm Lee Sondheim, and you're watching Ward TV. This week, Ward TV brings you an interview with the girls' varsity soccer team. Then we have our question of the week. Who is your celebrity lookalike? Check it out. Hi, I'm here with Kat Young and Alex Kelly, the captains of the Fairfield Ward girls' soccer team. Kat, tell us how the season has gone so far. This year the season's gone really well. We're 5-2-3. and three. We have great team chemistry and we expect to do really well. Alex, moving towards the end of the season, uh, what do you guys look forward to? Looking forward to our Ludlow game next week and going really far in the state and FCAC tournament. This Tuesday night, the Ward girls will be taking on Ludlow here at Ward at 7. The game will be a breast cancer awareness game, so make sure you come and support them. Ward Windbreakers, the newest, most heavenly ward apparel of all time. Cutting. Uh, that's not your line. And action. Ward Windbreakers, built for looks. Step up your game. Yeah. Cut. Ward Windbreakers makes a great gift for that special someone. Stop. Cut. Ward Windbreakers, order yours today. Chris Bartlett. Chris Bartlett. Miney Granger. <laughs> Jamie Lee Curtis. Matt Bellamy. <laughs> Chris Jenner. I'm a combo of Kim Kardashian and Mariah Carey. My celebrity lookalike is Zach Coe. 50 Cent. Miranda Castro. <laughs> I look like Hillary Swain. Um, I look like Barack Obama. I look like Eli Manning. Ben Morrison. Sue Sylvester. And Schuster, if you don't get that camera out of my face, I'm Welcome back. You're watching Ward TV. Ward Windbreakers are now for sale. Pre-order forms can be found in home rooms and on online. Also, the class of 2012 is looking for donations of books and new pajamas beginning Monday, October 25th through Monday, November 8th. Now we have our exclusive interview with Ward's very own foreign exchange student, Alan Gray. Check it out. My name is Alan Gray and I'm in grade 11. I'm a junior. Before I came here to Fairfield, I lived in um, Germany, Düsseldorf. My mother asked me if I want to do it. And the family I'm staying with, they're friends, and they did it for a couple of years. The students here are like all the same age. In Germany, on my school, there are like younger children too. It's, it's much bigger. Like in, in Düsseldorf, I could walk into the city and here we usually have to take the car to go somewhere. The funniest thing here is when people here try to speak German, when I tell them what something says in German and they try to say it. Before I go back to Germany, I hope to have my driving license, driver's license. We don't have football in Germany that much. Yeah, I'm, on, I'm the kicker on the team, varsity. My name is Alan Gray and here Coke Ward TV. I'm Jen. And I'm Mal, or the President's of Wage, which stands for Ward's Awareness of Gambling Through Education. Next week is Red Ribbon Week. It's a week-long prevention program that takes place here at Fairfield Ward. With the exception of periods 1 and 3 on Thursday, this program will be taking place in lecture rooms A and B, while periods 1 and 3 will take place in the black box. Please encourage your teachers to sign up with your class by emailing Ms. Swift or visiting room T32. Be sure to include the day and time your class would like to attend. Each day will address different issues including addiction, drugs and alcohol, prevention, and health. It will benefit everyone that attends by hearing real stories and meeting real people involved. Hopefully leaving you with something to take away and think about. Thank you. I am devastated over the death of 18-year-old Tyler Clementi. If you don't know, Tyler was a bright student at Rutgers University whose life was senselessly cut short. He was outed as being gay on the internet and he killed himself. Something must be done. This month alone there have been a shocking number of news stories about teens who have been teased and bullied and then committed suicide like 13-year-old Seth Walsh in Tehachapi, California, 13-year-old Asher Brown in Cypress, Texas, 
and 15-year-old Billy Lucas in Greensburg, Indiana. This needs to be a wake-up call to everyone that teenage bullying and teasing is an epidemic in this country and the death rate is climbing. One life lost in this senseless way is tragic. Four lives lost is a crisis. And these are just the stories we hear about. How many other teens have we lost? How many others are suffering in silence? Being a teenager and figuring out who you are is hard enough without someone attacking you. My heart is breaking for their families, for their friends, and for our society that continues to let this happen. These kids needed us, and we have an obligation to change this. There are messages everywhere that validate this kind of bullying and taunting, and we have to make it stop. We can't let intolerance and ignorance take another kid's life. And I want anyone out there who feels different and alone to know that I know how you feel. And there is help out there, and you can find support in your community. If you need someone to talk to or if you want to get involved, there are some really great organizations listed on our website. Things will get easier. People's minds will change, and you should, you should be alive to see it. Well, that's all the time we've got. To those taking the ACT tomorrow, good luck. I'm Chris Bartlett. And I'm Elise Sondheim. And, and we're, we're out. out.